Yeah, I just, after what we saw in that last game, I have a hard time seeing EG turn this around with the secret draft. Like, I, we've seen a few of their runs so far, but up top. they're going to put the chilling touch on, and this is going to be problematic for Fear. So much damage from Team Secret, and it'll be enough to claim the first blood. Puppy and Yapsaw, they were all over this map like a hot rash in game one, and they are off to the same itchy starting game two. That is the one thing you need to get out of your hands. I don't know. Is, is it that bad though? Because you can just breathe fire farm, right? And this can harass him to crit. Yeah. Like bottom lane is nice for Universe. He's actually 19-4 versus the 14-4 of Ace. So it's more of an even trade in the lane. Oh, nice toss back. Mid one into deep. Fears coming over. Yamsel needs to create some space with the Barra Strike. Able to do so. The spirit. the spirit as he can't reach him. Cancels the salve at least some level of value. But mid one survives to breathe another day. He's doing okay for himself too, but... They need to make something happen around this top area and soon. Avalanche again. Ready for the toss back. All the way back to fear. Shackles this time up. Yap source. Phase creation. It's a little too late. We'll go for the two-man Barra Strike and then start his run out. And this... This lone druid. Can they allow the same thing to happen? They're running at him. Oh, that's easy. The clap. Goodbye. Even an extra drunken brawl or attack for Fada to help secure the deal. I mean, where is he supposed to go? He can't. Go jungle, crit. crit. Oh, Fada. So much damage so quickly. Mid one's going to rotate in. Breathe fires on cooldown. I'm going to get the dragon tail off. So Fada moves closer. He's looking for another attack. He just goes straight to the split. The cold feet from Puppy with the chilling touch. You've got one more attack from the Storm Brueling to get the damage out. They turn their attention to Samel with the Earth Brueling stun. Another cold feet. The synergy is so beautiful. The control of Fada is even more beautiful. This is almost bodacious diving to the tier two tower amid. But Samel, just enough life with the one charges. And Fada trapped a little bit further back, but that's a Dragon Form mid one. Chris TP to the tier one tower. He doesn't want to stick around too much. The breathe fire hits on all three of EG's players and Team Secret are done with this. Puppies TP out. Smoking with Fear and Arteezy. Are they actually going to try and force a fight mid against mid one and bring Arteezy in? They've got Ravage and if Secret don't have heroes here right now, I suspect that they will be able to get the kill or at the tower at the very least. TPs are available for both the supports to come in. They need to come down with the Brewmaster. Here comes your first TPs, both the tier one and tier two town. Mid one, 11 one charge. Give them a lot of life. The shackles are up. Fada needs to create space with a Ravage. It connects on three with the toss follow up. Fada, he needs to get the split off. He it. doesn't get it off. He went for the clap first. Universe and Samel will find these pick offs. Lone Druids forcing the bottom lane to at least get a tier one town return. But EG. That is a godsend. T double pick off on two cores. It's not supports, it's the cores of Secret. Way too greedy on the side of Secret. You have to commit more heroes to that, especially when you see the Tide Hunter. This is not a mobile hero. Fear gets a small glimpse, but Fata shows himself anyway, running into the creep wave. Universe on the run. Where's that entangle? Where's that entangle? There's that entangle. Ace and mid one. Atop. Watching him, but yep, there's your attack. Fata. Samail. There to attack. A double damage room for crit. And you kill him, you think to yourself, like, great, when he isn't, Here it, you go. it makes you think twice about the next attempt. They're going for Roshan, Puppy has Ice Blast available, and with Mass Open Wars committed, Roshan is dying, but it's taking time. There's no medallion to work, they instead, they have the Necro books making this happen, but here comes Team Secret, Barra Strike, out on the sidelines, where's that Ice Blast, right on top of Fear, it's actually quite small, because Puppy was so close, Ravages from Universe, creates so much space, but the bear is in the middle of it, Fear will drop, Savage Roll forces EG to back off, SK, he will buy back into this game, Yamsel wanting to be part of this, then mid one, back lines, bringing down Io, some Oh, lost his friend. The bar is right from Yapsor is perfect. They want to keep the run going. Yapsor looking for the body block. Universe got nowhere to hide. Tries to make a break for the tree line, but there's just nowhere to go. Rooted up and brought down. And the one hero that it is left is probably the most least influential hero after Roar is gone. Lycan is the last one left. They did all the hard work. The wolves that actually gonna die as well, so they can't even test Roshan. Everything's coming up secret. That was absurd. Perfect team fight for them and the immediate buybacks, the snap buyback decision make, but not enough. Everybody coming back in for this and now Secret with the Aegis in their hands. They know there's no Ravage for this. The timing is perfect. They have a Brewmaster split on top of this. You couldn't script this better for Team Secret. The only thing they needed extra was having Dragon Form again. The Ice Blast It's going to be perfect with the Barra Strike. They hold him in position and Fear is tossed into the fight. I think
think Samael has just betrayed his father. They'll move deeper inside the base. Tidehunter spin him up and towards the air. Still no Ravage available when he hits the ground, at least behind Blink available. But he's trying to fight and bring down the bear. They're removing the armor. Samael trying to fight back into the front lines. The bear is so low. Ace doesn't have a resummon for it. That's why they're trying to keep it alive. The Necrofork trying to burn off the rest, but they break. They push him back. Yapso is micro. over the Ice Blast. It connects on the universe. How is one the bear alive? How is the rest of Team Secret alive? Puppy's being chased down by the rest of the Lycan, Booked and Wolves. He's gonna Maybe Arteezy can come through the side. The Tree Toss will finally get the first kill for EG in this entire fight. But the clap is down. They're trapped in the trees. Everyone's gone bush. Tidehunter is brought down. Chris trying to keep him alive. But here comes your epicenter. Lacquering on top. It is all secret. Crit maybe denies himself to the Ogres. No, that won't happen. Fada will be there for the last hit. Nas 5S coming in from EG. Relocate to the front lines. But Arteezy, he Ace. gets locked in. And the double fire so strike again. And it just... And it... What just happened? <laughs> Comes straight through, and now they have one set of racks left. They do have the range racks up at top if that's any con consolation for EG. I, I really don't think so. That's that's like chocolates after you got knocked out on Wheel of Fortune. You do not want this. Mid one, gonna Foco Dragon form. Here's the wraparound. EG coming from behind. Universe needs the best opportunity, but already Yapsaw with Observer Ward in the tree lines. He sees it coming from a mile away. Your DK has gone in this. There goes your Ravage. It doesn't catch enough. Yapsaw comes in with the ulti, combining with the Ice Blast. This really is the game. There's no way EG can fight back out. The mouse left more than nothing. Even the root onto the IO. They can't kill Ace. They committed almost everything for it. And EG admit defeat as Team Secret 2-0 out evil geniuses yeah they realize nothing to be doing anymore after the mid game i mean part two it goes so badly for them the laning phase was maybe the most rough that i've seen for a safe laner in quite some time like we yeah. were just giving you guys like the play-by-play -play updates of has he crossed the app store's net worth yet the answer was no for maybe 30 minutes into the game and i mean this is this is what i told you it felt like it was just two teams on two different levels right now. Yeah, it really does seem that way. And uh, protect the Lycan, protect something, protect the hopes of all the EG fans. They'll drop into the lower bracket and Team Secret get their semi-final matchup, which is what is coming up a little bit.